Yo, 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 what is going on, YouTube? Mixtrix here, back with another Destiny video. So, now it's officially 2017, and let's face it, Destiny is really starting to make its way into the rearview mirror for most of us. The game is really dulling extremely quickly, and let's be real, we're all dying for some Destiny 2 news. So, in this video, we're going to be going over everything we know from reliable sources and some unconfirmed speculation as well. So the first thing is the release date. Um, Destiny 2 will be dropping in late 2017 as a planned right now. Uh, Activision's latest earnings report revealed Destiny 2 will be dropping in late 2017. Uh, this is great because as, as of now we have a rough date to look forward to. And I'm personally hoping that there's no delay and it drops around September. Um, with that we can assume a trailer will be revealed at E3. Maybe with some playable games at, uh, at Gamescom. Alright, so now we're going to move on to what platforms will Destiny 2 be dropping on exactly. So, Destiny 2 is said to be playable on PC, as well as the original consoles Xbox One and PS4. Uh, this rumor was further reported by Kotaku, which is a reliable source, but again, I would take this with a grain of salt. Alright, so next we have content. Um, Destiny 2 will be a completely new standalone game that has nothing to do with connection to Destiny. Uh, what do I mean by this? Well... Destiny 2 will not just be another expansion, uh, as we've seen in the past with House of Wolves and Taken King. Uh, Bungie stated that they, they really want Destiny 2 to feel like a proper sequel. Now, that means new gear, new armor, new weapons, and its own standalone expansions. Alright, now for some speculation. So many are speculating that Destiny 2 will be carrying over your existing characters with the experience, light, and achievements, but unfortunately leave the weapons and gear behind for a clean slate and new adventures to acquire gear from. Now some may say this is a bad thing, some may say this is a good thing. I say this is a good thing because, again, we have those new achievements to collect and those new gears to get from new expansions and new missions, and I feel like that's better than just carrying over the same old stuff that we have now. Alright, next, Destiny 2 will incorporate ships into the game, not just aesthetically, but functionally as well. Personally, I'd like to see some space dogfighting missions or ship racing through space, or maybe just simply a new way to customize them. Finally, many are speculating Destiny 2 will include a more compelling storyline with deeper connections to the characters as well as a deeper story. Personally, I felt like the Destiny 1 storyline was kind of lackluster, no one really paid attention to it. Um, but I feel like Bungie, the great studio they are, can definitely up it, up it up a notch with, with the with the Destiny 2 storyline. Alrighty, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Uh, please leave a like, maybe subscribe, comment. Both of us really appreciate it, and see you guys in the next one.